In a hidden corner of the world, nestled among ancient trees and whispering winds, lived Elias Ember, a young phoenix chick with feathers that glowed like the setting sun. Elias was the last phoenix, raised in secrecy by wise old owls after a mysterious shadow had swallowed his homeland, the once magnificent Phoenix Kingdom. Remember, Elias, you carry the fire of a thousand suns within you, said Owl Mother with a twinkle in her eye. Elias was determined, yet doubts clouded his heart. He yearned to learn about his kingdom and restore it to its former glory. One evening, while practicing his flight, he discovered a unique power. He could absorb darkness and turn it into light. Look! The shadows! They vanish when I touch them! said Elias, astonished. That is a rare gift, Elias. The power to transform darkness into light, answered Owl Father wisely. Venturing deeper into the dark forest, Elias met Squeaky, the squirrel known for his clever riddles. Squeaky, with a twinkle in his eye, presented Elias with a series of challenges. First riddle for you. I am not alive, but I can grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air. What am I? Squeaked Squeaky with a mischievous grin. Elias thought hard, fluttering his fiery wings. Is it a fire? Correct. Just like the fire in your spirit. Now the next one. The more of this there is, the less you see. What is it? Said Squeaky, clapping his paws. Elias gazed around at the encroaching shadows. Darkness! Indeed. Now for your final riddle. I am light's shadow, but I flee from the light. What am I? Said Squeaky. Elias paused, looking at his glowing feathers. It's a shadow itself! Exactly. And that's the secret. The shadow is not just absence of light, but something more. Answered Squeaky excitedly. Elias pondered over Squeaky's riddles, realizing they held deeper meanings about the nature of the shadow and light. With Squeaky's clues, Elias sought the ancient library of whispers, hidden beneath the roots of an old willow. The library was guarded by a wise old raven named Rook, keeper of forgotten lore. Seeking answers, young phoenix? The shadows hold more than fear, said Rook, rasping. Inside the library, Elias discovered old scrolls and tomes. With Rook's guidance, he pieced together the story. Many years ago, a wizard named Valerian, scared of the Phoenix Kingdom's brilliance, had cast a shadow spell, not to destroy, but to hide from what he didn't understand. He was afraid of us? But why? said Elias softly. Fear of the unknown, young one. He did not see that light and shadow need each other, answered Rook solemnly. Elias realized the shadow wasn't an enemy, but a misplaced expression of fear. Armed with this knowledge, he knew he had to find Valerian and reveal the truth. Elias returned to the owl parents with this revelation. Together, they found the wizard, who was surprised to see a phoenix. I, I was afraid of your light. I thought it would overshadow mine, said Wizard sheepishly. Our lights can shine together, said Elias kindly. With those words, Elias absorbed the shadow, releasing a burst of radiant light that restored the Phoenix Kingdom. As the Phoenix Kingdom rose from the shadows, Elias understood his true purpose. It wasn't just to revive his homeland, but to bridge understanding and dispel fear. You have not only restored your kingdom, Elias, but you've also healed a heart, said Owl Mother proudly. Elias, with his newfound friends, watched as the Phoenix Kingdom shimmered once more, a beacon of hope and light. Thus, the story of Elias Ember teaches us that sometimes the darkness we fear is just a misunderstanding waiting to be enlightened. By facing our fears and seeking to understand, we can transform shadows into light and find unity in our shared glow. The End <laughs>